Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen against the Chosen as they are assaulting, invading one of our liberated regions. So, for those not aware and, and might have missed it when I previously mentioned it, um, an invasion can happen if a region adjacent to your liberated region has a strength of 8 or higher. Um, Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. It's usually helpful for that case, uh, uh, due to that case, to have somebody on um, Intel, like six to eight rebels on Intel, should detect the supply rate that's usually coming before an invasion comes. Uh, and we did detect it here. But I decided to not take this, but rather uh, not take the spy raid, but rather go on and fight the invasion itself. So, the device is in a not snipable position. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, it also looks like mm, that could be just the extent of my movement. Or well, it could be enemies up here. I don't think I have anyone else who's concealed. I could turn somebody else concealed. Or we could just go and kill them. I can handle it. Ah, are they gonna jump down and reveal Maria though? That's the question. That's a little bit inconvenient. Two up, one down. How about all down? Catch! Alright, then you could just go in there, bonk this codex, potentially activate even more guys. That's right. Hey, inmate. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Can I? I can get you with a burn. Are we gonna see the the rare? Hmm. hmm. The rare gatekeeper panic. Let's we'll see. Um. What what are my alternatives? Disabling shot. You're not steady. Throw the hook. Let's see what kind of shot you have on the gatekeeper. Eighty one, that's not terrible. So we can definitely um, focus fire there, then it's 86. Alright, I'm just looking at options on how to kill the other guys here. Leading to open of Talonons, what? What else would I have in my weapon? I don't understand what's happening there. Okay, I need somebody... 
to kill we need we need to kill these two all right that's kind of a given probably be able you should probably be able to do the trick here So I'm thinking you're just gonna run and gun and flamethrower these two. Just need to get the right angle without activating even more stuff. Ah, uh, fine. What's mm. gonna be a problem? <laughs> Push forward. You got a lot to learn. You're done there. You're running a little bit out of actions. Heading out. I've located target assets. Hostile target down. Let's go up here. Oh, here's a question. I can I can still containment field that. So actually, I'd rather have my focus fire for the assassin, or for the turn where we're actually killing him. So let's just take the disabling shot. If we miss, we containment. It'll only hurt for a second. Now, ideally, you don't want to be fighting a gatekeeper and the assassin at the same time, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so, um, how are we looking? This is taken care of. Let's bring you in here. Affirmative. The way. You might as well start shooting and shredding the gatekeeper here. Yeah? Getting locked on and all of that. You know, that, that is actually even worth a command here. Gatekeeper needs to go down fast. Confirmed hit on target. Now there's one little trick with invasions that you can do and that I'm gonna do here. I'm not being the guy. Um, just like on the 
full retaliation where you have to evac a bunch of rebels. The reinforcements are kind of in the ba game based around your evac location. So they will spawn, I think, within 20 tiles of this spot. Now on invasions, you can actually throw a new evac. And so kind of control where you want to fight enemies later on. Ideally, I would like to just, you know, throw it on the on the edge of the map. But I think this is good enough here. Can I add one more over without getting closer? That's, that's spot. That spot seems good. So this allows me to um, push forward, clear the map, while still keeping an eye on, on the evac location. We might have to just stun the gatekeeper next turn. Cardio isn't one of my strong points, though. Moving to Overwatch. We've got the chosen right where we want them. It's time to strike. So many have already fallen. But your work is never done. And yet my work is never done. Yeah, story of my life. Sounds like that chosen is headed right for us. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. Yeah, that was a very sneaky position there. But there is dignity in death to a superior opponent. Oh, so you still have dignity. Okay, yeah, I, I get it, I get it. Right, so we want to spread her. The well, question is 63. Oh, we, we do have containment, right? We can. He's stunned now, we can containment him next turn. All good, all good. So I'm thinking, first of all. We don't have quick feet. Oh. Alright. I think you can do a lot of damage, don't you? 14 to 22. Fully shred her. And then you can rescue protocol you out of position and then stealth protocol you to keep scouting for the objective. Yeah, you know what? Sure. I won't be slowed by your feeble attacks. Listen, I'm not trying to slow you, I'm trying to just kill you. I was really hoping she would be moving somewhere where I can actually snipe her. This is for you. No, other grenades with biggest booms can actually crit against the chosen. Despite their crudimi unity, which resistance one should say. Oh hi. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, kind of in my personal space. By the way, you didn't get at some point Blade Storm, and I forgot about it. Those combat specialist. No, pretty much still the paper tiger. Ninety-seven of the dead eye. Okay, so we're gonna focus fire. 
we can still rescue one time because it's a free action with action refund thingamabob here. So the offer, but I'd rather not. I have killed. We'll kill again. You are the only one to have ever forced my withdrawal, and now you leave me no choice but to flee once again. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that Chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. Oh, this guy is gonna die from the fire. Fairly, fairly guaranteed. So I just want Natalie to attack the uh, gatekeeper. Um, so they get the teamwork attack the same target bonus. What's you know? Hitting optional but appreciated. So this is all kind of a thing of um, if all else fails. Now we've got a 73 to stun and we have containment field as a backup backup. Let's see how much damage we can get in on this thing this turn. We only have one side here. chilled so could we now do the freezing beam thing oh that has a hit chance also okay cool 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 cool, cool. great great perk <laughs> uh, all right um who do we have left I think we're fairly confident that we can kill and or disable this thing this turn. So we might as well just stand on the open and rapid fire at 50%, sure. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Um, okay, so it's you two and then Probably not going to be up. Put on my robe and wizard hat. That worked. I have an idea. I gave Maria a rescue protocol. So I can continue scouting in that er in that direction. And then I can give her a stealth protocol to make her sneaky while scouting in that direction. Wouldn't have worked the other way around because I've learned now that you can't use rescue protocol on a stealth unit. After trying it 25 times.
All right, just like that, we've cleared out what six enemies from the map, including it's time to go. a gatekeeper. Um, we've cleared out the assassin, so there's what two six enemies left, five enemies left, and then the reinforcements that are starting right about now. You know what you're doing well well what do we have here now uh, one thing you see um there's civilians with circles around them you can rescue them and and that's great and all but it's actually kind of a distraction that you don't need to rescue those guys um you just need to win the mission like there is an optional um kind of thing where you rescue a bunch of rebels and then you evac and then at least you keep some rebels, but you still lose the liberated region. Just, you know, just win the mission. It's it's much easier. Alright. Got another group here. And then maybe something near the objective. Let's throw in a free action battle scanner in this direction. Not finding anything. It's not a great shot. So here's the question. How do we activate these guys in a reasonable way? Didn't look too scary, right? There's an engineer, there was a sorcerer, and whatever the third guy is. You know what? Bring it on. Bring it on. What's the worst that can happen? Ah, oh, Vanguard. Okay, yeah, that's probably on the list of worst that can happen. Pretty far down. Okay, I can now grapple with here, probably. Behind the sorcerer. No. That's not actually flanking him, because he actually took a smart cover position, so I only have like a long range flank from over here. Smart. Oh, and you have, you used your run and gun action already. Well... Here's the thing. Teamwork is a pretty good ability to have. Action, you get an action, you get an action. What? Yeah, found the last group. Well, how's this gonna go? Okay. Not what I want to use while next to a car. How is this gonna go? That's a very good question. Okay, um, priorities. Trooper engineer is kind of low priority. Vanguard can shoot like this. This this stuff you can kill. He can probably kill his own guys. So I think this is burning priority. I just walk away. Don't think there's any way I can get a command all the way over to you. 
Uh, this also only works in visual range, okay. Let's see what you can do against the sorcerer here. Also, hang on, if I'm not mistaken, you see you have a flank shot on the vanguard. I think we've been spotted. That's a thank you've been spotted. Well, that's the problem. We only have that one shot here because we are out of ammo. Oh, this does not count as a kill for you. Because it was the car explosion that killed him, so you don't get your free move. Okay. Right, so two guys burning. It's an engineer and an advanced trooper that's left to be dealt with. And the only tools I have right now is... Protocols from the other side of the map. Or just running away from them. Move it out. Nice. So I think. Natalie is just gonna run away over here, maybe over here. I mean, it's an engineer and advanced trooper. It's really not that scary, but yeah. let's break down a side here. And then we're gonna rescue protocol Christina up there. In. What? Is this still... No, this is turn 3 of the mission. We were pretty far pushed forward here. Mobility is great. It can also get you in trouble. But hey, it can also get you out of trouble. In well, there's a risk, of course, that some of these guys might be faceless. Locking position. Defending here. Rock and roll. Overwatch. I have a bad feeling about this. Alright. Can we watch in here? Now, since this just spawned this turn and the reinforcements were already coming in, it's possible that the first drop is still based on our old evac position. Moving to Overwatch. Where that was. No problem, boss. Overwatch. Alright, let's see. Now, I think that's already based on the new position, which, you know, seems like a really helpful spot. Oh, dropping in a Pathfinder with Shadow Stamp? That's just rude. I'm all watching here. Yeah, 
Having some civilians back there also helps as a distraction. Ripash, Sing Singi. But, um, so here's the trick with the civilians. Not all of those civilians you see on the map are actually your rebels. You see that the counter here still says 0 out of 10. So we haven't lost any rebels yet. That was just a civilian civilian, not a rebel civilian. Now, that's very unfortunate for them still, but, um, hey. Just a, a cost of doing business. Well, anyway. What are you guys doing here? What's the radius on this? Five tiles. So in order to hit this guy, I need to be one, two, three, four, five. And here. That would be the spot to hit all three of them. Coming up out of out of action unless I can sneak a command to you. No, I can't get land aside. So, my current concern is that I'm not sure how I get the Pathfinder. Um, Christina can reload and then run and gun and kill this guy. Fairly certain. So the Exalted Pathfinder is the only one I'm not 100% sure on how, how we're gonna get him. Well, first of all, before we do anything else... Hmm. Get that guy. Sono pronta. Well, either way, you know what? I just want to do a firestorm, so we're going to do a firestorm. I'll take care of them. Just don't stare at me! A little bit. This is, this is, you might not like it, but this is what, what Peak XCOM looks like. That's also a good chance, you know, there's a lot of fire here, that maybe when he moves he sets himself on fire, but I'm not sure how that fire is probably not on his tile. Um, I don't know. Vado in posizione. Nemico eliminato. There's a little bit of fire here. I mean, I would take a shot at him. Oh, apparently we also get a lull turn here with no reinforcements this turn. Hmm. That's not a great shot here. <laughs> what's, what's happening? Just high cover, high defense, hot macrosy, blah 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 blah. Okay, I get it. Get it, he's hard to hit. No problem.
I'm out of ideas when it comes to that guy. I don't think you can get to good Overwatch position. Ah, he's a Pathfinder, he doesn't care about Overwatch. You can't get to good sniping position. So either way, I think we're just gonna um, get Natalie out of there. So this turn, in the turn where you're using Firestorm, you're actually immune to fire yourself. Which is uh, somewhat helpful. So otherwise this ability would be somewhat unusable. I cast Longstrider on myself. I think we're just gonna just gonna sit here and wait. Um, move you somewhere safe, that you don't get flanked by the guy. But if he can, can probably flank me there. Didn't consider that. Not much I can do about it now, though. Is that there's no way you can get on the side of her. We're out of rescue protocols, we're out of anything protocols. Let's just give you an eight. Yeah, and these guys here are just gonna wait until more reinforcements come in. It's no longer burning, no longer panicked. Let's see if he sets himself on fire again from his move. This is Smart Scanner, which increases his mobility. And the, the shouts tell me he's just going for a civilian. What a brave guy. Wasn't one of ours. Well, technically, of course, I care about all the civilians here. <laughs> You're right. Um. Anyway, hi. Bye. Did you see where she aimed her weapon? We have a positive ID on the alien relay. Laying defense here. Scanning. Tagoon. Affirmative. Covering now. Scanning. All right. So, from this point on, the mission is basically one. I get it. Okay. As soon as we um, kill this thing. The reinforcements will stop. And once you've killed everything that's left on the map and any reinforcements that are currently coming in, the mission is over. Now, as I said, this is a full salvage mission. We get all the corpses um, are good. That, are, that appear on this mission. So, Amateur, uh, we're gonna try to I farm a little bit. Now you saw the first group had two enemies. Um, next next reinforcement wave will have three, four, five, etc., etc., etc. Sniper, some sort of bio guy, and some sort of cryo guy. Dropping in below the. I what is this? Pot enemy contact. Close. What a, what a drop in position. Very creative. Avoiding for some cover. pretty much all my overwatches. Uh, 
On the move. Target eliminated. Made, made you flinch. Did I get a frost blood on you yet? I don't see it. I'm fairly certain that means we should not attack the cry priest. Tumbling. It's going to freeze any enemy that attacks. Yeah, okay. not sure about. Do we have hack towers on this kind of map? No. Would be weird. To have advanced security towers in the Rurgit region. But I just thought since it's a city map. They might show up, but they don't. Alright, this should give you better vision down down we'll be below. Come and get some. I'm on it. Alright, now we have a little bit of an issue. Since I shot it last turn, there's a fire here now. This environmental damage can just take out the relay without me doing anything else, which would be unfortunate. So I think for now we're going to stop shooting. I want to farm corpses. Come on, game. Give me that at least. De nuovo in partita. Fatevi sotto. Okay, they're dropping in further up. Might have to move Spana a little bit to a more advantageous position. I never get tired of What's I should really move Maria to high ground? Um, the mech needs to go. Or at least needs to stop overwatching. Play by the rules, but at least get some kills in here, buddy. Should have kept your head down. I could do this with my eyes closed. I got eyes on this area. Uh, let's get a grenade somewhere in here. Just a little bit further over here. Okay, this all being destroyed is not helping. <laughs> um, we might as well use this opportunity to poke this trooper. Get some hopefully free intel out of this mission. Noise, noise, noise. I'm ready. 
On Overwatch. Today's an inspection day. Are we gonna find more aliens there? Now we wait. Okay. Kinda spread out a little bit here. Which is okay. And you can grapple there. You can grapple up here. All right, I'll go. So I'm keeping two people back there that can, like a a shot from Emily, uh, from not Emily. <laughs> Uh, Natalie and then a rapid fire from Christina will destroy the thing. So, whenever I feel like I need to end this, I can. Also, hey, you should be five. Why are you just four? Now you're just three. And drop it like flies. Still wondering if this will break here any second now. And Scurvy is just doing the cleanup here between waves. Get, get it? Cut because he uses a sword. Lights out. No? So let's think. We have two groups here, one group like here. I'm wondering if I want to go there. Yeah, let's, Getting it done. let's get you around the block. You're still back here. Don't worry, I've got your back. Reloading. Okay. Hey, Zigwo. I think we're good. Ammo up. It's a perfect opportunity to reload here. On your six. Now we press the overwatch. Covering now. Button. Now. Getting some more interesting enemies. Yeah, I should have kept the um, the skull jack for something like this. Right, Mark two custodian, huh? Fire. Uh, do you do anything anything nasty if we attack you in close range? No, not really. Burning. 
happy now. Me tengo pronta. I'm going. I think it's like a 10% chance with the um, with that weapon to get a burn. Oh, right. I have dogpile. Cool. So I didn't have to use any ammo here. In fact, I even got a back. Resupplying here. Reload. Oh, we're here in Overwatch. You know what? Actually, let's have you on the high ground. For the better aim, because you automatically hit with your overwatches. No. Didn't think that one through. Moving to Overwatch. Hey, inspection time. Maybe I'll bring you over to the side where the action is. Because it seems like the enemy is kind of narrowing down in this area. Just right in the head before they even got the activation sequence. Down to target. Barely a hit. Hostile terminated. There you go. We'll do this all day long. Now. I feel like to more than three shots this turn. And I'm not sure how and why. But I'm all here for it. Look, it's Paul Walker. And apparently... Okay, now I can move. Um, how about Paul Runner over here? So I can use the second action to position myself next to that guy. And just shoot. Shoot like this. That gives us an Andromedon shell. I'm gonna thinking I'll take another shot at this thing. Which means it is now down to 13, which you can't reliably do, but reliably enough. What, what are you doing here? 6 to 12. Well, that's actually ideal. You know, you're just gonna run out. So I have you for the reinforcements also. And you take your single shot. That cannot kill this thing. Menace one five. Neutralize all remaining enemies and secure the AO. Sorry, what? Oh, wh why? It had 13 health, you do 6 to 12. 
Why XCOM? Why do you hate me? Scanning. Ah, okay. I guess we kill the last reinforcement wave and go home. Now we press the Overwatch button. Let them land first and don't shoot at the dropship. I went to this invasion and all I got was this lousy Andromeda corpse. Not, not shield deflecting that, are you, buddy? One down, thousands to go. There you go. Are you out of action? Oh, no, it wasn't my turn yet. Okay, cool. Uh, who do you see? 100% get it. One down, thousands to go. I, you know, this is really a my, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined kind of moment. said something weird happened in these missions that prevented me from doing a really endless reinforcement farm. Either environmental damage destroying the device or some other stuff. Well, this time it was just, you know, a soldier doing more damage than what the tooltip told me they would be able to do. So, in that case, let's just go home. Safes on willpower, I guess. If anything, I fear we are making it easier for them to catalog our people. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the Elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. Well, I would like to end this menace once and for all, but the menace we just experienced, I wanted to last a little bit longer. But I guess that's how it feels when you want, want it to last a little bit longer and suddenly it's over. Goes to show that the chosen are vulnerable and we can take anyway, them down. Cyclic fire. How to keep them down. Oh, I should also show the other choices because otherwise I'll get complaints again. So we get some alloys and crystals from killing a chosen. We've got an Ilium core. Uh, I know we blew up one loot drop on a sorcerer. Oh well. Um, it's what did we get? A bio faceless, a gatekeeper shell. I think this is our first gatekeeper. Uh, corpse, at least? I don't know. We'll see in a second. Uh, Sorcerer Corpses. Pathfinder. Um, this is the Mark II scanner. Fairly certain. So, that's nice. That's a nice piece of equipment to build. Sword Trooper Corpse. Sword Trooper Captain, that is. I think that's also kind of new. 
Air Trooper by Rocket Trooper might be somewhat rare. Mark to Custodian, Spectre, Andromedon. Bio Barrier Trooper, hang on. Yeah, okay, so we haven't done Gatekeeper Autopsy yet. Render, render, render. Sorted Locked Scanner, yes. Okay. Give me Research and Development. So we can get the Bio Barrier Shield. The Bio Shield, which is. Even though you can technically, if you are lucky enough to get a bio barrier trooper corpse early, you can get that really early. This is still, even in late game, one of the best shields you can have for anyone who attacks with shields, like our knight. Um, so let's queue that up. Then the Mark II Smart Scanner I want to queue up. Uh, advanced Battery Queue, minus Medicine. Get that going. And that's good enough for me for now. Then we're gonna look in the training center. Who can actually get training? Dietrix and Wheeler. Let's wait with the training center because we do have the assassin strongholds coming up right after this. And once those guys are back, we probably have some six day bond training that we can set up here. Um, you would order us, Commander. We will undertake a new means of disrupting the elders and their false vision. Same thing actually with the ring. Let's wait until the assassin is dead. That way, the assassin missions do not get any ambush chances. Alright, one last thing. Um, let's have a quick look at our infantry. This I was a little bit quick there with the ability selection. So, we took Cyclic Fire here because we're kind of building a shooty but with some support infantry. Um, other choices would have been improved suppression. That suppression disorients the primary target. Uh, yeah, and then second wind, so you get given an action point to anyone you use a medkit on, which ideally in a mission you're not using medkits, right? It's nice to have medkits, but having a perk for, hey, if things go wrong and I have to use a medkit, then I get one extra action, or every two turns I can triple shot, it's not a, not a tough choice in my opinion. Anyway... Yeah, we've got the uh, Chosen Assassin Stronghold now. Let me just go to the Geoscape very briefly. One last thing though uh, about the invasion. So, defeating an invasion destroys two points of strength in the region where the invasion was launched from. So, Indonesia is down to seven from nine. That also means we can't have another invasion. Well, first of all, this is no longer eight or higher. Well, one of those might be, but also um, there's a cooldown on invasions. So we're good here for another 21 days, and after that I probably forgot about it already. Anyway, so yeah, um, Chosen Assassin Stronghold, that is somewhere over here. No, that's Troop Ambush. Where is my... Wherever it is, we're doing it next. Up here. Chosen Assassin's Stronghold, coming up in the next episode. Thanks for watching, see you next time.